more than 200 Chinese workers were on Thursday morning arrested by officials of the Nigerian Immigration Service at a construction site in Niger State. The arrested Chinese are staff members of Sino Hydro, a subsidiary of Power Construction Corporation of China, the engineering firm handling the $1.3 billion Zungeri hydroelectric power project being carried out by the Nigerian government. The project, which was initiated in 2013 and is expected to add 700 megawatts of electricity to the national grid, will be second largest hydroelectric power project in Nigeria behind the 760 megawatt Kanji hydroelectric electric power project when completed this year. Sahar so reporters gathered that hundreds of the Chinese workers at the site who came into Nigeria with six months tourist visas had remained in the country for more than two years working and earning huge sums in wages without hindrance. Most of them were said to have come into Nigeria before the outbreak of coronavirus in the country in February 2020 and had continued to stay despite the expiration of their visas. It was further gathered that why over 200 Chinese were arrested by the immigration officials during Thursday's raid on the construction site, hundreds of others escaped into the bush to avoid being apprehended. The situation caused chaos around the community hosting the power project with residents running for safety for fear of being caught in the melee. The immigration officials came in large numbers this morning and immediately proceeded to arrest the Chinese workers who don't have the authorization to remain in Nigeria. More than 200 were arrested. Why dozens more ran into nearby bushes to escape arrest? A lot of them came into Nigeria with tourist visa that have since expired over two years ago, but they have continued to work without any disturbing anyone disturbing them. Why the ones in Nigeria have their visa expired already? The company is still bringing more workers from China that will also continue to live and work here once their documents expire. Some of the arrested workers were taken away by the immigration, while others were arrested but want to renew their documents or leave Nigeria. The situation brought tension to the entire area. People are afraid because they don't know what will happen next. A Nigerian employee of the firm told Sarah reporters. The spokesperson for the Nigerian Immigration Service, Amos Oku, confirmed the incident when contacted by Sahar reporters. He said he was going to give more details on the issue when he received a more comprehensive report from their personnel at the scene of the incident. Well, what will I say? Of course, your guess is as good as mine. No be Nigeria with they. No be Nigeria with they. They are still bringing more. Those, those, the people already know the Nigerian system. Does Buari know all these things? I think a president, you know, people always talk about, say, hey, is he going to be doing everything? Is he going to be everywhere? Which one is he even doing it? Is he even doing it in the first place? Which one is he doing? Because when you talk about change, you say you are coming with change. We are, you are coming with the mantra of change. At the end of the day, those are the things that you know that things, are so, you are supposed to just go straight to the point and begin to handle all those issues. But what do we have? Hypocrisy everywhere. Nigeria is so porous. And you can't even try it in their country. And that is the worst part of it. The immigration officers raid foreigners' homes from street to street, from building apartments to the nest, and you will be charged with OS, which means overstay. Our system is poor. The Chinese Chinese people are taking us for granted. Our government needs to do something. Don't be surprised, all those people that they have arrested before you know, money will change hands, and that is it. You won't hear anything about them again. They will still bring more and more and more again. These immigration officials are playing with their job. No less Baba here, you guys. Oh, okay, this one is just trying to be funny. You don't want their country to borrow us money. They stopped borrowing it, so they, 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 that is not even the issue. I hope they will be prosecuted. They will serve their term and thereafter be deported. This is what they do to our people over there. They should taste their own medicine. Imagine they don't have any respect for the country. Does the country have respect for itself? We owe them. Make we not leave them before they go change and for us. Now they get Nigeria for now. Immigration goes soon. They overstay for Nigeria.
Thank God for Berekete family where this illegality was exposed. I hope Wari remember we are still coming. We are still owing China. If you press them too hard, they will request their debts, which you don't have at the moment. The politicians have squandered their money. Not Nigeria soon. Well, I wish our leaders can be seen what they are doing to the future of our dear country, Nigeria. All the credit should be given to the president of the ordinary man, Ahmed Issa. Wow. Person where they borrow you money, uh, now you can't the arrest, make a last more. The story from Human Rights Radio 101.1 Abuja redefining broadcasting on the program Berekete family leads to this success. God bless the ordinary president, Dr. Isma, Dr. Ahmed Issa, the voice of the voiceless. Sir reporters give credit to the Human Rights Radio and the ordinary president. Did you know how much Nigeria owes them? I beg, what are they constructing? I don't know. You can imagine with $1.20 billion at the end of the 700 and something megawatts they want to add to it. Are we a serious country? We are not. We are not a serious country. Softly, softly, oh, hmm, make we no come become Ukraine of Africa, China and a superpower. Don't tell me we don't have over 2,000 Nigerians who can perform better than this, uh, uh, these people. Can you imagine? Thank God for ordinary presidents, okay, of extraordinary people of the globe. Kudos to Nigeria immigration. Somebody from the top, now we give order to release them. That is Nigeria for you. You can't attempt to do that in China. Good one. You cannot try this in China. You yeah, people are saying good one, good one. They will release them. And that will be history. It will be history. Take them to court before deporting them. Those guys don't take it easy over Nigerians in their country. It is because of our government, government, government system that is very bad. That is why it is. Story, Chadians and Melians way full Lagos. No even gay people, not to talk of expired ones. <laughs> Good. Nigeria is not a no man's land and shouldn't be. Please, can someone help? I want to leave this country because this impunity is just too much. There are more than 10 million all over the country. Because they didn't settle them on time. That is why they are going after them. <laughs> that is the end of the story. Audio arrest. Now audio arrest too. Put them in jail for 10 years, then send them back to their country. What they don't accept in their country shouldn't be done in, a, in Nigeria. They will do it over and over again. Forget it. They will do it over and over again. You won't hear anything again. Huh? That is the end. On a initial by the Nigerian government.